In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Hakari. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to talk about the moveset of the Restless Gambler, also known as Hakari. So, it is one of the first characters to be added to Jujutsu Shenanigans, and all you have to do to select them is to open up this menu over here at the top, and then select Wrestler Gambler from the Characters tab. Now, they have a unique awakening because instead of being the average transformation, it's going to be a domain. Now, when you first select him, you will notice the four skills that he has access to. You have Reserve Balls, Shutter Doors, Rough Energy, and Fever Breaker. So, for the first skill, it has a cooldown of 10 seconds. What this is going to do is flick a small white projectile that ragdolls if the enemy is near the actual, actual projectile or the user, and if the enemy is not near and it hits them from far away, it's going to stun the target and deal a small amount of damage, so you can create good openings with this. Now, for Shutter Doors, the second skill, as you can see, it's going to manifest the Shutter Door from the Pachinko game that crushed the enemy, temporarily stunning them. If you are close enough and the mouse or the targeting is on the target itself that you are trying to hit, the shutter doors will lock onto the enemy and spawn at their location rather than directly in front of you. So right now, because I'm not attacking anyone, it's just in front of me, but if there was an enemy here, it would stun and lock them directly. Performing shutter doors on someone after an up tilt, will remove the ragdoll state and then give them a stun. And this skill also has a cooldown of 10 seconds, just like reserve balls. Now, rough energy, you will charge this punch with green energy. And after you wind up your fist, you will collect all the cursed energy and punch the enemy with insane damage. So this is going to be a very powerful ability, but it takes a while to wind up. And it also has a cooldown of 10 seconds. This is interruptible and it bypasses Ragdoll, but because it takes so long for you to prepare your fist before punching them, you really need to find good openings to use this ability. Finally, you have Fever Breaker. This is going to be a standard kick and the user will kick the opponent towards two shutter doors before following it up with a second kick that sends them flying. This move can bypass Ragdoll after you use an up tilt, however, it has a very small window. So basically, you can use this to knock your opponents away and stun them. So you can go over to them and do something like Rough Energy. So I'm gonna show you some gameplay here. I'm not the best, so I'm just gonna be walking around and spamming these abilities, but you should get an idea of what all of your abilities do, and you will be able to play a Hakari when you join Jujutsu Shenanigans on any platform. I hope I was able to help you on how to play Hakari in Jujutsu Shenanigans. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.